So, when you go to judge you, there are a couple of things, right? So, I wouldn't judge you for a specific reason. It was to scuba dive. So when I first went, immediately I go for scuba diving, right? So I went, it's actually very difficult. When I say difficult, like it's one of the harder ones I've been to. Uh, so first of all, the currents are stronger than usual. There are a lot more current that's happening than other places. Uh, for example, even Thailand, Philippines, etc. Literally, I'll be uh, going down and current will be sweeping right across from me. And because of the strong currents, a lot of time when scuba diving, there's a rope that you hang down from, right? That allows you to make sure you descend safely. Otherwise, by the time you finish descending, you're like so far away from the boat. It's kind of dangerous, right? So um, there's our so in a way, people who are not that experienced, I wouldn't recommend doing it on Jeju Island. Uh, so the water temperature is about 18 degrees Celsius. Uh, or 64 degrees Fahrenheit and the visibility can be only be about five to eight meters because of strong currents so you don't really see much as a whole uh, so if you look at some of the pictures that I've shown right now and uh, that literally it's pretty murky uh, I also went on a rainy day and that caused a lot of issue from my perspective uh, had, I wish I've gone in a better day but obviously that didn't happen so that's fun So additionally, uh, the, the staff I was with are very great. Um, we made different faces. We had lunch. We did many different things together. So overall, it was pretty good. For that reason, it's because I no longer remember most of their names. <laughs> I'm very bad with names, but I guess that's just how it is. So, so after my scuba diving trip, I went out to the second destination. All right, so let's go about the second place I went to. So because I only went there for a weekend trip, I want to make sure that I can still fly home because there's no way I can not, right? So I have extra 24 hours, what should I do, right? There are two places that I went to. Right, the first place is a waterfall. There are three main waterfalls, but the went to is called Chonjiyan Waterfall. So it's not a waterfall on Jeju Island. It's uh, so literally the Chonjiyan, the meaning name is sky. So it's connected with land. So it's kind of one of the main tourist attractions. And the water where basically falls in about one particular area, depending on the rain that's happening. Before me, it recently rained a lot. So that actually helped with seeing some of the waterfalls and the pond that comes with it. So what happened then is it's about 22 meters or about 72 feet high and about 12 meters, you can say about 39, 40 feet wide. Uh, so it was not the biggest, but for the most part, it's decent. Uh, so what happened then is on the bottom of the waterfall, there is an artificial pond that is about 20 meters, 66 feet deep. So those are supported by two dams to help the water at a specific level, right? So uh, that a lot of times you go, tourists, including myself, right, pose in front of it. Uh, so, so the source of that water also comes from a spring that comes out of the floor of what they call the Somban stream. I would say the second is, uh, I went to is the, the Teddy Bear Museum. So there's a teddy, teddy Bear Museum in Jeju that's well known. It was open on 2011, April 24th. So you can find everything you wanna know about teddy bears, like everything. So it has two galleries, a museum, a museum gift shop, a museum cafe, and a bar restaurant where you can sit down, meet friends, and just chat. It's also a good date spot as well. Uh, so there's also a garden on the outside that allows you to look over the, the Changbun Beach. So they are very unique in the fact they have teddy bears for everything. All the famous people from Steve Jobs to Elvis Presley to every celebrities you can imagine, right? So. Um, 
It was originally the Jeju Teddy Bear open especially for the European collectors, and they have specific teddy bear entertainments in different kinds of form and fashion. So, if you look at but look at the history of it, teddy bears has always been loved and cherished since they were first introduced about over a hundred years ago. Right? They were named after the 26th president, Theodore、uh, Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt, short for Teddy, right? According to a legend,、um, Roosevelt went on a bear hunting trip. So, but the thing is, he couldn't find any bears to hunt. So, what happened then? One of the staff actually found a bear cub and a pinned it or lashed it against a tree so that the president can shoot it, right? So, but the president doesn't want to do it because he believes that it's not very sportsmanlike. So because of that story, what happened then? The teddy bears become very popular. So there was a two big ones.、Uh, there's American and I believe there's German. One the American is called Morris、uh, Mictum, and the German is Margaret Steif. So they were the first manufacturer to produce the te- these type of teddy bears、uh, commercially. So, but the thing is, Steif company from Margaret Steif、uh, was the first to manufacture and produce. Uh, te- uh, uh, not the first, the、uh, was the most successful in producing the two toy companies. So that's why you see a lot of more teddy bears from that company, Steiff Company, than the one started by Morris Mictum. So, so those are the three main areas I visited. They are very, very great. They have、uh, so the. The scuba diving is just the current is really strong. The waterfall is a must see. Teddy bear is a good place just hang out and relax and just be in love with teddy bears.、Right? So, if this is useful, this is interesting. Please subscribe and comment below.